Hi folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be making Galilith jewelry. Okay, now Galilith was invented a hundred so years ago, and it was very popular in making jewelry, so popular that even the Queen of England had some. Today I'm going to show you how to make Galilith. That is the raw material used in making many different kinds of jewelry. Um, it's suitable for making ivory, pearls, it can be cut, carved, sanded into many different shapes because it dries rock hard. Okay, now, what we're going to do to make Galilith is we're going to precipitate casein out of milk. It works better than the casein powder. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be using fat-free milk. We're going to be using industrial strength vinegar. And we're going to purify it by using alcohol. Now alcohol is going to serve a couple of different functions. One thing is that alcohol attaches to water, displacing it. Another thing that alcohol is going to do, it's going to remove the things in milk that we don't want. It's going to remove any remaining fat and it's going to remove the milk sugars. So that what we end up with is a pure casein. And the casein, the protein, that is going to be our building block for making the Galilith jewelry. So let's get started. Alrighty folks, so let's get started. Now what I've done beforehand is I have uh, I've measured out uh, 500 milliliters of the fat-free milk and I've warmed it to the touch. It's not cold, but it's not hot. Uh, so it's about two cups. And here we have the uh, Industrial strength vinegar. Now, household uh, vinegar, the white wine vinegar, is about 3%, and this is 30%. Uh, there's a lot of uses for this. It's, it's, it's very safe stuff. Uh, they use it as a uh, laundry aid. Uh, you can use it in your garden to kill weeds. And you can also um, clean with it, of course. And what we're going to be using it for, of course, is to... Uh, remove the uh, casein from milk. Now what I've done here is I've squeezed out uh, 20 and 20 and 40. You keep count because what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, simply uh, add just a little bit of at a time until I see it begin to precipitate out. Uh, there's no real measurement for it. You don't want to dump in a lot. Uh, let's see how that works. Now, once the reaction begins, it, it happens very quickly. And we see a good start here. It is really beginning to happen. There we go. So it looks to me like uh, 40 milliliters was just plenty. All right, and we've got a nice big clump and we're just going to roll that up and there's our casing right there okay it's going to cover that just for a minute um, now the next step in this would be to uh, drain this we're going to um, rinse the uh, vinegar out with just a little bit of water uh, and then we're going to uh, do an additional purification step where we're going to use uh, alcohol and what that's going to do as I indicated before is it's going to displace the water. What I have here now is uh, what I've purified already and I'm beginning to heat this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this casein together and continue to go back and forth between uh, water and alcohol hot water until it, the casein becomes uh, not so cottage cheesy but more stringy. You'll actually see it become very stringy and very rubber like once we get uh, it uh, purified well enough. So here we are. Let's bring this over just so you can see it. and. Uh, I hope I've explained the process well enough because at this point what I'm going to do 
is poured out and I'm going to stop the video and continue uh, once I have the uh, casing where I want. Again, what I'm going to do off camera is I am going to rinse this. I'm going to purify it more with alcohol. Then I'm going to put it in a beaker and I'm going to heat it and I'm going to keep pulling the casing together until it forms a nice rubbery ball. Okay. We'll be back. All right. So here we are. Um, I've continued to uh, rinse this. Uh, the water is very clear. And, and as you can see now, we have a very rubbery, solid, stretchy, Casein. This can be molded to any shape you want. It's going to take a few days to dry. Now, afterwards, it's going to be dry. However, it's not water insoluble and it's not gallolith yet. Uh, the original patent said to use uh, formaldehyde. This is going to form crosslinks. There are green alternatives to that. Um, I can certainly put the, uh, a couple of those names in the links. However, what I'm going to do for myself is when I make my gal of it, is I'm simply going to use a very natural substance such as shellac to uh, spray over it just to protect it from water. Okay, so there we have it. How to make gal of it jewelry. Imitation ivory imitation pearls and um, why the Queen of uh, England was um, so interested in this is that uh, actually the Royal Air Force the buttons on their uniforms were made from Galilee so there's a bit of history I hope this has been enjoyable for you I hope it's been helpful uh, thanks for watching please subscribe and uh, see you next time we're going to do something different. How about paint? See you then. Bye-bye.